Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this is the 2017 Refresh Acer Spin 5. So this is the 15.6 inch model. So it features an aluminium body. It comes with an 8th gen Core i7, 8 gig of RAM and it has a GeForce 1050, not TI. And it has a both a 256 gig solid state drive as well as a 1 terabyte hard disk. So um, all in all it's a pretty nifty machine. Uh, but what's interesting about it is that not only does it have a GeForce 1050 which is well that's common but the other thing here is this the Acer Spin 5 is a convertible tablet. So it's a converted tablet with a GeForce in it. So yeah, that's great. Great for gaming on the go. I mean, it's only a 1050, but yeah, it's not nothing to laugh at. Now, the other thing, which is that not only is it a touchscreen, if we see here, it indicates that it has Windows Ink support. So if you get the optional pen, and so here we have the optional pen. So this is an active style digitizer. It's not a stylus. And uh, it's optional. So you're gonna have to find it. It's not included in the box, but in Malaysia, this was included as part of the initial, when you buy it for the initial batch or something. Okay, so this is cool because now we not only have a nice large 15.6 inch convertible tablet with a GeForce 1050 in it it also supports uh, active digitizers so great I mean if you are an artist or something you're looking for a Cintiq replacement how good is this? Hmm. okay let's talk about the pen because uh, I, if you need to learn about the specs of the machine well look for some other review okay I'm here to talk about this thing okay so I've now turned off the room light so that it's easier for me to record off the screen like this so I'm gonna draw right on the screen using the um, using the the Acer active pen now if you are used to these digitizers, you know that there are a few things about about like palm rejection and things like that. So first of all, I'm just going to write with my hand above the screen. Okay. So we're going to write, I'm just going to try to scribble a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Okay, so it works pretty decent. There are some if you there are some uh, skips at, on this loop here. Overall, it's pretty. I mean, it works pretty well. You can write on it, and it captured it pretty well. So, not much problems there. But then again, my I wasn't touching my hand on the screen. I was just hovering over it. That's not a good indication of a good good tablet to to write or draw on. So let's go again, and now I'm going to, let's change it to a red color pen. I'm going to slightly increase the size. Okay, now I'm going to rest my hand on the screen and write naturally. So in the galaxy far far away okay on first glance it looks pretty good but if we look at this small point here I'm gonna hope that the camera can capture it let me just inspect it to see if you can see it or not now if we look here at this point see this extra dot here now this was where my hand was resting on you know when you write, you would lift the pen up from the surface and you slide your hand to write the next word. So this 
was a palm rejection failure. Now, it it didn't happen much this time, but as I'm testing or when I'm using it in my day-to-day -day OneNote scribbles, yeah, this gets annoying. It happens actually quite often, and uh, it's enough to it's enough to really uh, annoy you at times. So one way that I found you can slightly solve the problem is that to minimize the problem is that you can go into the Windows uh, Pen and Windows Ink setting screen and you can head to this part that says ignore touch input while I'm using my pen. You can turn this on and what happens is that Windows will attempt to turn off the, the recognizing the touch from uh, when you're writing on the screen. Okay, so we can now try again and see how well it works. So we're gonna go again. So a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, so there's still one slight dot there. It could be, that seems like that's my initial landing point of the my hand when it goes down. So it could be that. It just means that the detection of the pen from the screen is a uh, it has it it needs to be very close to the screen before it detects. So if you bring the pen down before your hand then there's less of a chance of these misfirings happen but again during my testing these initial landing port marks aren't the only problem like I said the palm rejection could be better it it generally works but you it will it will it will have some problems and gaps here and there which can get annoying Okay, so there is of course one of the main questions that that the when the tablet PC veterans like will ask, which is that what digitizer is the Acer Spin 5 using? Is it a Wacom? That is always the number one question because everyone would like to know. So here I have a Lenovo Mix Pen. So I know this this is uh, using Wacom because uh, on the Lenovo Mix uh, 500 that I have, it shows up as a Wacom uh, pen device and there's a Wacom settings tool. So this is a Wacom stylus and nope. So this is not using Wacom technology. Now the other question here is, is it using Intrigue? Because I mean that's what the Surface users and because the Acer Spin 5 has a nice logo that says it's Windows Ink supported that means there's a very good chance that if I take a Surface pen so here I have the Surface Pro 3 pen so this is the pen with the magnet okay this was one of the first pens with the magnet and it has the clip here, the pen clip. And uh, let's see. So it draw, it writes, it works. That's that's great. Uh, the eraser works, of course. And uh, wow, that's amazing. Does that mean that? we can finally use uh, multiple pens let's give it a try okay i'm gonna write again a uh, long long time ago in a galaxy far far away okay so we are having some problems here you can see that this didn't work it wasn't didn't detect it fast enough and it totally lost the er uh, and uh, other than that it seems okay so let's try again so i'm gonna put the pen down first to make it detect now the detection range for the for the service pro 3 pen on the screen is even shorter than the acer one 
While the Acer, I can like cover half a centimeter away from the screen. The Surface Pro 3 Pen, I have to almost bring it down to the screen before it detects it. So, it definitely like, it's the, it's the Surface Pro Pen giving off a weaker signal. I don't know, I already changed a fresh set of batteries. Okay, so let's try writing again. So here we go. A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, so again, you can see that there are some gaps here in this F. Yes, my writing is already bad, but I tried to curve up. It didn't curve. And we can see that there are some uh, landing. If you look here, there are some landing marks for the palm rejection failure. Okay, all in all, not too bad. So if you have a Surface Pro 3 pen, it works with the Acer Spin 5. Uh, it doesn't work as well as the Acer's own pen, but it works. So that got me thinking, so what is the, what is the, what is the hardware being used here? It could be Synaptics, but again, it doesn't show up in the device manager, so I'll show you afterwards. Now, since this worked, the Surface Pro 3 pen worked so well, I decided to get this. This is the new Surface Pro Pen. So basically, this is the latest version of the Surface Pro Pen. This is this one comes with the, the newest release uh, Surface Pro. There, there's no pen clip, but there's still a magnet in there. So this is the newer one. See, it's there's still a magnet. Yeah, I'm gonna re-record this in the, with the lights on. Okay? So this is the latest Surface Pro Pen. Let's see how well it works, okay? So I'm gonna erase this. Okay, let's write. A long, hmm, long, oh dear. Time, oh dear. Oh wow, this is not working at all. Okay, this is not working at all. But you can see that it detects here and there. Let's just try and write a full line instead of writing words on it. Okay, so this was the Surface, the new Surface Pro Pen. This is the Surface Pro 3 Pen. And now I'm using the Acer Pen. Now you can see that the, surf, the new Surface Pro Pen clearly has some issue here. Now you'll be asking, so why is it like this? Hmm. Uh, I really don't know what was the problem, but then I realized something. If I hold this under the screen, again, this demonstrates a very close uh, screen to the screen to pen distance. You need to be very close. And even uh, if I'm holding it close and I'm going slow, you can see that there's a lot, the line is breaking. Okay, this is definitely not detecting it properly. Then I remembered something about this new Surface Pro Pen. This is a new generation uh, pen. It now supports, in, in addition to pressure, this pen supports tilt. So that got me thinking. If holding the pen straight and writing it doesn't work, what happens when I angle it? Like I'm like writing a brush. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm gonna write with the pen pretty much held horizontally. Far. That's much better. <laughs> so, if you use the new Surface Pro Pen, it will work. 
if you basically just lean the pen extremely close to the screen horizontally like that this is definitely not ideal at all okay so if you really needed uh, if you really needed to get a replacement for the Acer pen and you couldn't if you couldn't get the Acer pen you should uh, you should get the surface the old surface pro 3 pen with the pen clip definitely not the new surface pro pen it doesn't work very well okay so here we have the device manager now if we just take a look here and see that the only thing that's really listed here is this thing HID compliant pen and there's no other listing for whatever device that is on the Lenovo Mix there will be one more item here that says that it's a Wacom, Wacom pen input device so it's not here so I'm pretty sure this isn't a Wacom it doesn't work with the Wacom pen anyway okay so in summary what have we learned today is that number one the Acer Spin 5 isn't running on the running on a Wacom digitizer because the Wacom pen doesn't work on it. Number two is that the Acer's own pen, while great, the the palm rejection really it's not perfect. It doesn't work perfectly. Okay, I would I would definitely not say this is a perfect perfect uh, this machine has a perfect palm rejection. Okay. I've been writing on a lot of tablet PCs. This is acceptable, but it's not the best experience. And uh, in case you're wondering, the Acer Spin 5, Acer's own pen also has two buttons. It's the usual right click and uh, eraser button, okay? So if you can't find the Acer pen, you can use the Surface pens on it. But of course, the Surface Pro 3 pens, the older ones with the, with the clip, with the, with the shirt clip, seem to work better the newer one that doesn't have a clip doesn't seem to work very well with it you really don't want to be uh, you, it's definitely not an ideal replacement in a pinch if you need it yes but not ideal now if you're asking what about the bamboo the bamboo ink the wacom combo digitizer well It'd be great if I can get it here in Malaysia, but I can't. So um, I don't have. If I have an op opportunity to test it, I would, but I don't. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. I hope you learned about the Acer Spin Five with its mirrored pen support. Okay, because uh, I didn't see anyone much uh, talking about it, so I decided to talk about it myself. Okay, so this is Marauders. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, before I go, there is just one last thing I just like to talk tell Acer and uh, any of you other uh, uh, OEMs that make Windows PCs. Look, it's great that you guys made these nice convertible PCs with uh, pen support, really. The, the only reason I bought the Spin 5 is that it had pen support, seriously. There are people who will buy who where pen support becomes a determining factor for choosing hardware. But the main thing here is, look, if you had the, the decided to put the digitizer into the, build the digitizer into the machine, please, just give the pen as a pack-in, okay? It's already a premium product. You put the, the sensor in already, okay? Please put the pen into the into the box, in the into the initial box. It would be easier. I wouldn't complain so much if it was easier to find stuff like this, but come on. Okay? It's not easy to find uh, separate accessories like this, okay? It's very difficult to find it here in Malaysia. I, mean, I don't know how is it in the in other countries, but in Malaysia if it doesn't come in the box, you are pretty much out of luck trying to find any replacements, okay? So please, OEMs, if you're gonna put a digitizer into your into your convertible tablets or whatever, just give the pen as a pack-in, okay?